Okay guys, so today we're going to learn how to do the Arnold shoulder press. It's an excellent exercise for size and strength. Uh, it's slightly different than the shoulder press because it allows us to put more tension on the shoulders which is going to give us a lot of benefit um, in terms of hypertrophy. So what I also like about it is that you don't have to lift as heavy, you're not going to be able to lift as heavy so it gives us a lot more lifespan on our shoulder joints. So first thing to do whether you do this on a ball or a bench is to make sure your hips are higher than your knees. That's going to give you a more um, power position. Uh, when you're establishing your base of support, you want your feet to be slightly wider than shoulder, shoulder width. Your ankles are over top of your knees and your knees are in line with your hips. All right. Next thing, we come slightly to the edge of the bench. Chest is up. Back is slightly arched. We're not leaning back because we don't want to turn this into an incline chest press. This is a shoulder exercise. So you want to stay nice and tall. The next thing to figure out is where our start position is. Now, if we look at the start position with the weights, we've got two options. You can start fully extended here or slightly flexed. When you're slightly flexing, does it look like there's more tension on my shoulders here or here? I could keep the weights here all day long. I couldn't keep the weights all day long here. So this is going to put more tension on your shoulders, so that's our start finish position. But the easiest way to teach you the version I know of the, of the Arnold Press is a diamond movement. So you'll see some guys going like that, They're basically doing a reverse pec deck and then a press. And there's not as much tension on your shoulders as the version I'm going to share with you. So it's not that one's right or one's, one's wrong, but if your goal is muscle size and strength, you want to put as much tension on the muscles as possible. So what we're going to focus on doing is pressing up and out at the same time. So that's your initiation, up and out. So your lateral delts are working, up and out, and then we twist. Notice my palms are starting to rotate in, and we full, finish our fully extended position normally as a shoulder press. And then we trace the same shape on the way back down. So let's do that. We're just basically tracing the shape of a diamond. Up and out. This is the key. This is the hardest part right here. Up and out. So not like this, but up. So we're pushing them up and out. And then wide. Take a look at that in action. Shoulders are flight, slightly flexed at the top, and we're going up and out. So we're trying to create the greatest strength curve as possible here. We're trying to put as much tension on the shoulders by taking them through as much range of motion as possible. So that's it guys, so we're changing the strength curve, we're creating a curve that puts more tension on the shoulders, you're not going to be able to go as much weight, which is going to create a better workout and uh, create longer lifespan on your shoulder joints as well. So new version of uh, shoulder presses you guys can add into your routine and um, just remember on, when you're sitting on the bench, try and lean into it a bit more. Again, a big mistake guys make is they arch, lean back and they bring their upper pecs into it. Lean into it, lean into your hips. Maybe come around from the side so you can see this. When you're leaned into your hips, you're not going to be able to recruit anything but your shoulders. Try a shoulder press here, and then try a shoulder press here. Very different. Okay? So, now another place you guys can find me is uh, VinceDelMonteFanPage.com as well. That's where I answer a lot of questions. VinceDelMonteFanPage.com. And uh, if you enjoyed that, make sure you like it up. I appreciate that. You guys have a great day. Take care.